everyone and welcome back to Avi Reaction guys here you go again with another video finally 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 I have a quality video for this amazing drone production by Turkey absolutely yes okay for sure made in Turkey we're talking about Bayraktar Kizi Leyba absolutely yes okay that means the red apple in Turkey I know that I know that now okay I'll not ask again but now guys I'm so curious for this weapon made in Turkey this drone okay and finally I have a quality video for this one so guys let's go and yeah, let's enjoy this video let's go guys is it in English I know this so I'm sorry for the people that would not understand I will try to translate for you, for sure, for sure, let's go. Although for years one of the biggest defense contractors in Europe, Turkish company Baker was virtually unknown to the average Joes of the world until Russia decided to invade Ukraine. As soon as that happened, its drones, called Baraktar TB2, started wreaking havoc among Russian ranks and rose to star status. Although the most famous of Baker's products, the TB2 is no longer the talk of the day. That's because on Tuesday, yes, August 30th, actually, Turkey's yes. largest aviation, space and tech event, Technofest Black Sea, kicked off at the Karsamba airport in the Samson region. That's and it is there where Baker is showing the big, new turbojet-powered Baraktar Kizilelma. Yeah, he's actually saying that actually Turkish drones becomes famous with uh, the war that is going on between Ukraine and Russia, okay, because become famous with that actually, okay, but Turkey already made another new technology, okay, that is much more powerful than the Bayraktar that we know from that war. This is what he said till now. I'll try to Officially for Officially part you guys. of a program called the National Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle System, MIAS, the Kizilelma is described right. as the next step in drone combat. It would use AI power to make video. decisions, or help oh, its Mama operators yeah, do that, that will be capable of performing aggressive maneuvers, whatever that means, and thanks to the fact it needs a minimum distance to take off. Wait, 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 what is the man that actually create this weapon? Yeah, he's the man that create this drone. He's tested by himself? Wow. Wow, okay. Or help its operators do that, will be capable of performing aggressive He's maneuvers, whatever that means. On, and thanks to the fact it Come needs on, a minimum man. distance to take off. That's crazy. Could be easily launched from the decks of seaborne ships. Turkey's unmanned fighter aircraft, Baraktar K1Z1 Lama, has been showcased at Technofest, Turkey's largest aerospace and technology festival, attracting great attention despite ongoing design oh, and say, development he efforts. Say that they are they share this one in Technofest that is actually in Turkey one of the most important uh, places, okay, where share new weapons and everything, okay, show to the world the new we weapons and start sell and stuff like this, yes, for sure. The first prototype of Baraktar K1Z1 Lama, developed by Baker Technologies, a Turkish manufacturer of drones, was presented at the exhibition in the northern province of Samson. K1Z1 Lelma will be able to oh, carry 1,500 kilograms of payload, weapons and devices, etc. Its flight range is 930 kilometers, while the operating altitude was declared as 10,668 meters. It can operate in the air for 5 hours, and has a maximum speed of 900 kilometers what per hour. The, the first flight of K1Z1 Lelma, 100 kilometers. It can operate in the air for five hours and has a maximum speed. Maximum speed of 900 kilometers? What? Wow. Of 900 man. kilometers per hour. Wow. The first flight wow. of K1Z1 Lelma is expected to take place in 2023, according to Selkik Baraktar, the company's chief technology officer. Turkey has entered the That's top three insane. in the world Fidelio in terms of technology Fidelio development, Fidelio with the last 20 years of struggle, Baraktar said, claiming that the Turkish army is number one in the world in adapting so young, the technology man. of unmanned aerial vehicles for so combat. Young. We aim to achieve success in civilian areas as well, he added. Our country now has serious initiatives in high-tech fields. Our goal hmm. is to make Turkey yeah, reach Turkish important places here. as much as we oh. can. Noting that Greece needs demand from abroad for similar vehicles, Baraktar said that it is essential to develop national technologies. Underlining the importance of bringing innovation in science, culture, art and technology, Baraktar said, those who try to scare us and prevent national technologies with embargoes will never win unless we give up. 
Baractor TB2, another tactical unmanned aerial vehicle, has received no, demand yeah, from 24 heard... countries, Baractor said, adding that Baractor AK-1NC1, which is capable of conducting operations that they are performed with fighter jets. 24 countries? We give up. What the video, man, this is beautiful. Baractor TB2, another tactical unmanned aerial vehicle, has received demand from 24 countries, oh, Baractor said, wow. adding that Baractor... They say that they received the mean, they receive request to buy this drone for 24 countries okay this is what i was talking about techno fest okay is because of this they show the project to all the countries okay the countries that are more interested to them go and buy or order okay or start off something like this okay and they receive from 24 countries wow wow K1NC1, which is capable of conducting operations that are performed with fighter jets, will be exported to four countries. Wow. Baractor wow. TB2 is a will medium altitude long endurance, male, capable of conducting intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, ISR, and armed attack missions. The drone holds the record in Turkish aviation history for endurance, with 27 hours and 3 minutes, and for altitude at 25,030 feet. Wow, this is the record of Turkish history, okay, about drones, 24 hours and 3 minutes. Wow, wow, God, what a video, finally a quality video, man, that explained to me the situation, finally, and to you too, I'm trying to explain, okay, because it's in English, I'm sorry for that. TB2 has become the most talked about drone due to its success in the nagorno karabakh conflict and other parts yeah, of the sure, world, TB2, Baractor said sure, in a recent for speech. Sure. For sure. Looks like a bird that wanna fly. Beautiful, beautiful. So nice to see Turkey like this, so nice. Investing in new technology, even that is about weapons, but still cool to see Turkey like this for sure. This video was pure magic, so so beautiful. Explain to us a little bit how it's working. People that is ordering this, not people that is ordering, okay, nations that are order this drone okay to buy immediately and come on man so insane okay absolutely something to be proud of okay the new technology i hope that this new technology will be a focus not just to army but to normal life too in turkey everywhere okay so people can have a very very beautiful life so guys let me know in the comments your opinion i had a lot of fun i will see you in the next reaction ciao a tutti ragazzi noi ci vediamo alla prossima ciao